Hello everyone, in the previous video in the backtracking series of permutation combinations, we have discussed the problem combination sum 1, that is the 39. So in this video, we will discuss the problem 40, that is the combination sum 2. So the problem statement is saying, given a collection of candidate numbers, candidate and a target number target, find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidates number sum to target. Right. Each number in candidates may only be used once in the combination. Note, the solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. So if we talk about the difference between the previous problem, that is 39 combination sum with this problem, that is only be used once, means the number whatever is present here, so that number only we can use once, not twice, right? Suppose for forming eight, previously what we did is, we add 2 4 times. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and made 8. And that was a valid combination in the previous problem. But that is not the case here. We have to only use the number once. And one more thing here present is, you can see that one number can present twice or thrice. Means not one time. So here if you see, 1 is present twice. So that case also we have to handle. Because here it is saying the solution set must not contain duplicate combinations because 116 is the answer. Maybe later point of time by calculating you will get again 116, right? So that time it is not a like a unique solution, right? Because as we have like uh, numbers which are repeating, so that's why we have to handle that case also. So how we will solve this? We will now check. So first thing what we will do is we will directly copy and paste this 39 combination sum solutions problem and we will check why it is failing and what to fix here. Okay, so I will just copy this problem from here and we will go to sum 2 and I will paste it here. Okay, and now I will run it. So if you check here, we are getting answers like which are combined to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and it will end up to result 8. But this is not the use case, right? So 1 plus 1 plus 1, like uh, 8, 1, combined together 8 is not allowed because it is said the numbers we can use only once. Okay. And we can see if we scroll down a bit, uh, there are so many repetitive results. So if you say here 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, it was present before also, right? But we need a solution which should be unique. Okay. Because we want the answer as 116, 125, 1726. Here, whatever numbers are present, that we just take took once from this candidate list. And uh, the solution is also unique. Okay. Now we have to check uh, like why this solution is not working and what kind of modification it needs. Then uh, the purpose will be solved. Let's take one example and understand it more. We will draw the backtracking tree diagram and a lot of things will be clear from here. And I hope you have uh, watched the previous video because it's a continuation of that. So you will understand more like if you have watched the previous video and it is highly recommended. So now here uh, I have taken one array 21565. Here if you check this five number is repeating. Okay. And the target value is seven. So in the previous video what I told is if we have to find any target sum that time it is always better to sort the array first because maybe the target will be very minimum value and for that purpose we don't have to visit the numbers which are higher than the target value because that will not contribute to the solution right so now uh, in the previous case what we are doing is suppose we are starting from one so let's say take this one and we want to find combinations using this so we are using all these numbers right so maybe another tree will start from one uh, another one will be 2. That means it's a sequence like my result contains 1 plus 1 as of now. And here it contains 1 plus 2. Then 5. Uh, then another 5. Uh, then 6. And then 7. Right. So from each and every one uh, solution, we are again doing like 1, 2, 3, like that way and for 2 we were checking from 2 then 5 and that way we are growing up to 7 here also up to 7 
from 5 we have to go from 5 till 7 for 6 it is 6 and 7 for 7 uh, we can again use only 7 if it is permitted right and what we are doing is we are keeping the result sums means 1 plus 1 plus 1 like that way for that path and if it is reaching say 7 uh, then we will say that we got the target value so that's why if you see in the when we use the previous solution that's why you have seen like 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 together it formed 8 and that we collected as a result okay but in this case we should omit that thing so uh, if you check here when it was 1 that time in the next level i have choice to use 1 2 5 5 6 7 in the previous case when it is 2 then we have choice to use 2 5 5 6 7 when it is 6 it was 6 7 that means the number from where it is starting then till the end we can use them to uh, create the uh, next combinations but uh, if you check here uh, suppose here say one has i value as 0 right suppose the index position is 0 in that array next time uh, as we are again starting from 1 2 5 6 7 so it is also 0 then 1 like that way it is growing now uh, like I will change the color it will be better so now let's say uh, why it is repeating because next time also we are starting from the same index position here also if you see two's index we are again starting from here five also same but instead of that if we start from i plus one that means next series if we start from i plus one instead of i then we can omit this part right then this one will be not repeated in our answer we can only make choice as one then it will be two five five and six seven like that way okay then we can omit this one so we have to start from i plus one so now let's do this modification first and check like uh, how our solution is behaving so now the first thing what you will do in this solution is instead of i in the next level we will pass the start as i plus one okay and see what it is doing so now here if you check all this one plus one plus one those solutions are vanished means here at least we are using the numbers once but here also one problem is there maybe we are getting the result using one but some results are repetitive one one six uh, is one but one two five we got here also right one seven we got twice okay so these two value we got twice that's why it is not matching with the expected result now we will discuss why this thing is coming and how to resolve this now let's discuss why the repetitive solutions are coming and how to avoid that and what is actually causing that problem so here i have drawn the tree for one so if we are starting with one then the next choice will be two five five six seven which we just now rectified like previously we were starting with one two five five six seven but as we discussed that we have to start from i plus one so if you check like the tree how it is growing for one the next step we can take as two five five six seven for two it will be five five six seven for five it will be five six seven for five six seven for six it is seven and for seven nothing right now if you look closely that uh, here the solution is one two five one path is there maybe it is not the solution uh, just the path I am talking about and we can see another repeating path as 1 to 5 here so if you follow this path right this is also 1 to 5 this is also 1 to 5 and if you look closely one path we have as 1 5 6 and we have another path also that is also 1 5 6 this one right and uh, 1 5 7 also see 1 5 7 and here also 1 5 7 is present right so repetitive paths so why these repetitive paths are coming and what will be the solution let's clean up it a bit okay now the path here if you see it was 1 2 5 and here also it was 1 2 5 right why it is coming because 
when I am here, my left side adjacent value is also same as me. That's why if I grow it, ultimately some portion will be same. Here in this example, you will better understand this. So here one, then it is five, right? So uh, when it will it will grow, then five, six, seven, it will be right. So after six and seven, that will be a complete match. See five, six, seven, and this part, if you check, it's a complete match because my left side number is same as me. That means practically there is no need to grow this tree if my left side value is same as me already. And that we can easily achieve because as we already sorted, that means if any duplicate numbers are here already present, they will be grouped together, right? So if we have five, five, another five, okay. So only grow the tree for five. No need to do anything for this one and this one because they will contribute to repetitive uh, combinations. So the solution will be if I see that my left side value is also same as me, okay, then that time no need to grow the tree, okay, because that will create repetitive things. 156, 157, again it is 156, 157, right? So only do for the first one, no need to do for the second and going onwards. So we will modify this part in the solution now. So now we will do the modification here. So what we will do is we will put a if condition here. So what is the if condition? If my i means the like index is greater than start, that means I am in second onward positions, right? And uh, if the candidates arrays i position, which is my current position is equal to equal to candidates of i minus one means my previous position, then nothing to do. We don't have to form any uh, DFS tree for this and we can skip it. Then only we are done. So if we now run this, we are getting the exact result. Now we will submit this. So it is working. Thanks for watching.